Hi guys, Stan from Nile with another exciting episode of Kiln Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about equipment layout for a 20 or a 40 foot shipping container. These are done a little differently from our standard kilns, but not a whole lot different. Now, first off, we only recommend using an insulated shipping container. That generally means you're going to get one with a non-working reefer that you will have to remove and then make up an insulated wall for that section. The reason you want to remove it is because there's very little insulation there. It'll be a cold spot in your kiln. Now for the layout, the idea is the same as a regular stick built kiln. On a 20 footer, it's basically identical. You've got your same in and inlet and outlet for your vent, your fan wall and your kiln layout. For a 40 footer, your vent placement is going to be, you're going to have an exhaust in each corner of the side with the kiln unit. And then directly across from the kiln unit, you will have two intakes spaced about a foot apart to allow for air to come in and then go to each side to cool the kiln down when you need to. We recommend one fan every five feet for an L200 kiln. If you are using an M, be aware that your probes are only 33 feet long. So you will only be able to put them in the stacks in the middle. You won't be able to reach the ends, and they cannot be extended. Your wet bulb and dry bulb can go on either side of the units. I recommend placing them on the side towards the door opening. So that's it for me, guys. Tune in again to another exciting episode.